Good evening. This is Norma Cowie here for Mental Mind Treatment. I'm a wee bit early because sometimes to connect, it goes on and on and on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've slowly learned, primarily on Sunday mornings when I'm also on live, that eventually it clicks in because often I get panicky and I stop and I start again. And I'm just like everybody else. I have nervous things about coming on live uh, or not live, etc. cetera. But, but anyway, tonight we're doing mental mind treatments. For those that come in, um, <clears throat> please um, just fill out your chat with your trusty fingers. What it is that you're wanting your name, preferably your age, not 100% needed but it's preferable and what the issue is what the issue is and or else the other way of looking at it what you want from the issue what's the resolution you want now i have here a piece of paper with quite a few names on it that i have been asked about for um emails if you get emails in by six if you don't think you can be on at seven then um please just you just email me and you can get that through my web page or on my newsletter. So you might want to think of signing up for the newsletter. So it has my email and phone number and things like that. So before we get anything new though, I'm, I'm going to start off with my first mental mind treatment who is for Mr. And I, when I have them come in, I just put Mr. Uh, Mr. D, which means it's a male. Um, and it's we, we want a court resolution here. So here we go. Knowing that there is one power and one source of being, I speak my word for Mr. D <clears throat> so that in the coming weeks that the court resolutions will go ahead, will take place to his satisfaction, and that he can move further into his future and his life with ease, with grace, with an understanding that all is well. So it all comes together easily and on purpose. Now, I know that, he, some, sorry, there was a little bug from this door being open all day with, a, with the sunshine. Uh, so I know that Dan will be feeling confident, relaxed, easy, knowing that all things are going to come together very, very well. And I give thanks for this. I give thanks for Dan's court issue is has a resolution and that he is vibrant over that re resolution and that he feels comfortable and complete. And for this knowingness, I give thanks. I give thanks that he has supported and that all will come out well. Okay, boy, a little bug in the middle. That's interesting. So I, I, I often find very often... When things happen like that, there's a reason for them. So that's a that's a bug of interference. That's interference. And uh, <clears throat> I have read on this subject, so I do know that there is interference. And that's going to be uh, the most thing is that he doesn't get sidetracked by the, by the interference, but rather sticks to his guns of what he's wanting to create and what he's wanting to do, which we wonderful. Okay, I'm going to go to my board here, and it, and it's Karen. Thank you, Karen. Hi, Karen. Uh, greetings, Norma. I really felt last week's treatment about self-love. Thank you for that. I would love to have a treatment for me to feel more vitality and zest. That I understand. Okay. Divine Essence, Mother, Father, Son is One. I'm doing a mental mind treatment for Karen. And as I breathe into the vibration of Karen, it's the knowing that I am good enough to be as vital as I choose to be. It's aligning the inner world with the outer world. So there is no opposition. So that when you want to have vitality and to represent your personality and the sense of who you are, that it is so easy for you just to breathe and allow yourself to feel the energy. 
not only that comes from the earth that is within us all the time, but the zest of energy that you have accumulated through just day, daily living with your aura. Your aura carries, if it's not too extended, and we've talked about that before, but if it's around and it's full of energy that has, and you may feel, oh, I expended all my energy, but it's still, look, look, there's always a reserve there because it's connected. So just um, relax and allow Knowing that that energy, that love, that self-love, which brings vitality and understanding is right there. And part of it is not to feel, oh, my goodness, I don't have energy. Oh, my goodness, I feel tired. Oh, my goodness, I, you know, unless I think you're really laid out and you, and that that's an acknowledgement that something's going on that you then can, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and do the things that you need to do. I think here it really is an interesting feeling that you have about connecting to the outside world. So it's about being confident. It's about being um, believing that life is there to support you, that you can receive that which you want, all these things. And very often we have little thoughts that don't relate to that. And the thing is to get clean up the thought power. Now, <clears throat> see my throat. This is me getting the channel clear. And I thought I'd done all that before. So, but there's just a little frustration because I like things to be for perfect. And sometimes they are not. But isn't that life for all of us? Anyway, I just wanted to tie up Karen here. I feel this sidetrackness. Like I'm getting sidetracked with different things. Sidetrackness is where... We have our mind set on something and something comes along to deviate. Something comes along to take us away. I find that often in uh, transformation work where we're touching on emotions and events that have happened in the life. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, uh, my mind's gone off somewhere else. And I know that I can concentrate for very intensely for quite a long period of time. And I, yet they're important and we need to acknowledge them. We need to know them. So I want to say here... Karen, my dear, is that be focused. You know, like we're not going to be vital all the time. There's times when we need to rest. There's times when we need to sleep. But when you do want to have vitality, know that it's available. I, I, I have a feeling that maybe you don't realize that. It's available if you really want it. Some people call it will. You're going to will it because you want it. So in knowing this, I truly say thank you. I say thank you, knowing that Karen will have the vitality and the energy that is needed to create and do whatever it is that she wants to do with ease and grace. And then knowing that, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to acknowledge Kayla. And actually, she sent me something earlier. <clears throat> and so I'm going to move to Kayla. Knowing that this one power and one essence is in all things, I speak my word for Kayla. And as I speak my word for Kayla, I know that <clears throat> that continued strength and finding peace with strengthens, deepens, and broadens with every breath that is taken. That peace comes in the heart and just allows everything to be in their, in their place. It may not be feeling that way that it's the right place or the right solution, but it's in the place as of now. When one lets go and allows that things to drop into place, and that's what I'm seeing is like all these things are put in their proper place. What happens is there is a sense of peace that comes that gives strength. It gives strength of purpose. It gives strength of determination. It gets strength of delightfulness about life. And I just feel in some ways, Take a look at what you what you can control and what you can't control. Control what you can and breathe love into that which you cannot um, and let it go because it will help you strengthen. It will help you find peace because you're in the moment of what needs to be done. And your mind isn't connected in creating all sorts of what ifs and maybes and perhapses. There's peacefulness, there's ease, there's comfort. There is an awareness of direction. And it's really knowing this because it's just like tremendous gratitude comes into me because it's as though we can let go and relax. We can let go and just let life unfold. 
just like a carpet roll being unrolled. And that you you continue, all you need to do is walk day by day, creating what you need and want to do and be. It's right there. So the peace that comes is letting go of all the trying to figure everything out or trying to figure out how, what, when, and where. And it may be for yourself, it may be for someone else. But it's like letting go and just being in the present. You know, we all talk here that be in the present, be in the present. And I, I even had someone say to me, you know, some people go, they're present when they put a spoon in to pull out what, let's say, some sugar to add to their tea or coffee, is that they watch it, they're present with every moment. And I went, well, that's a bit much for me at this point. But I do, I do understand being in the presence. And I give thanks of recognizing when we need to be present and when our minds are in the way and just creating actually a chaos for us. So we don't really want that. So I know as I speak my word for Kayla, I say, thank you, thank you, thank you, knowing that it is done already. And so it is done. There is love, there is life and every essence of where you are. I just see another little note from uh, from Karen who says, great insight. I don't always feel that the work is supportive. I have been sidetracked so much. Thanks again. Oh, sidetrackedness, I'll tell you. We, we, we all suffer from that in one way or the other. I think it's really learning, and maybe that's a message for here. It's really learning to put our attention on what we want to do. Many of you don't know, but I am a metaphysical minister. And uh, it's not a title that I banner about too much, but I do weddings. And uh, today was my day of kind of catching up on all the way because everything's been a little messed up with me going away, being ill, then going away and getting over all the travel we did. And then I spent today sorting out the weddings, what I had done, where was I, each one of them, putting them in, you know, putting them in timeline again. I thought I had all that, but, you know, I hadn't looked at them for a few weeks. And it's it's like sorting through, getting all the things cleared. It's not sitting in the back of my mind saying, i got to take care of those weddings. So now I'm feeling great. I picked up two new ones um, this summer for the fall. And, well, yeah, in the, more in the fall. And so, you know, it's all good. Just doing what I had to do today. I said, okay, today is the day for weddings. Now... The next person on my list is um, uh, Miss C. Um, I'm just going to go take a little different approach to this one. And it's like knowing there is this great power of essence that's in and all through us. I know that I can join with Miss C and be at one with her in knowing and knowing that all business solutions get cl cleared up, I guess that's the word I want, want to use, cleared up and realized as they're finalized. There is support. There is universal support, tremendous universal support. And uh, a few weeks, for a few weeks there, I would have... <clears throat> Angels kind of come around certain things. And I feel like they want to come in and give their support in the business. And yet they hold back. It's like they need to be invited. And so, Miss C, if you are so inclined, just spend a moment, a quiet moment, and invite the angels to bring their calmness, their expertise, their awareness to you and to the business so that it shines on its own light, so that it radiates out there. So it not only attracts business, it attracts what you're looking for. The people who can work for you in a very, in a we'll say a proper and effective manner. So there's, it's like, I just feel like I'm a little, like and I, a bit turmoily. Like it's like, um, you know how when you're mixing something in a bowl and everything is mixed but it's not ready to percolate. It's not ready to put in the oven or it's not ready to bake or whatever. I think here, when I, I examine this from this perspective, there is a need of knowing the higher power that there is support if you but ask. 
The need is to ask. If you do not ask, how can you be open? Oh, you can't receive. But if you ask and then you're not open to receive how it comes in, that's then you just block it out. But I know that help is there because I've seen now this is the third time groups of angels have come about a situation, except with this time they're holding back. They're waiting. They're waiting to be invited. And so I put out now that Miss C is allowed to be relaxed enough to trust the universe, to work with her, to love her, to care for her and bring about all that there is and for this knowingness i say thank you thank you thank you because then these are my words things can just fall into place as watch that they're, what they're needing to add on to that there was another concern from miss c relating a family member and about investments and she will know what this is all about when she goes to re-listen. I know that there is love and light in this family. And I know that each family has issues. Most families do at some point. But here is about trusting process, trusting the outcome. And even the old saying, when it is the darkest before the dawn, it comes into full play. And as I speak my word for the daughter of Miss C, who wants to invest to make money to grow, I want her to have a bigger outlay of pictures, not just taking everyone what they're saying, but that she goes beyond, she goes beyond studies on her own right by reading and studying many different books so that she understands, or watching videos, because that's what you can do now. Um, there's other things, there's other ways and other people that can explain how that all comes together. And I give thanks in knowing that it's through direction often that we create wonderful things. You know, it's interesting because uh, some of you will be in, will know the name of Robert Kiyosaki and his good dad, a poor dad, rich dad. I studied with Robert Kiyosaki and I became a, um, what would you call a facilitator for his game cash flow. This is a lot of years back because I was very interested in the physical element of money. I learned a great deal from him or his teachings. I, I was at a, a uh, I was at a conference where he was speaking and uh, that I was at in down in Phoenix, but it was an enjoyable time for me because I traveled a lot, but then 9-11 happened and my world turned upside down and I never got back to it. But anyway, what, and I can hear the thinking, how did 9-11 affect you? It did because I was supposed to be traveling and there were no planes, there was no people, there it was just a mess. But I want you to know that there's a lot of information out there and to take the information from different sources of how they work. And I know I appreciated my time. Uh, I've done spiritual prosper, uh, prosperity and, and thinking and awareness. I've studied with Edging Gaines. I've studied with, as I said, more practical with Robert Kiyosaki. Anyway, moving on. We've got another comment that's come in and thank you so much for putting these in. It says, this is Karen Lee. Hi, Norma. I'm having great difficulty sleeping again. I get a few hours here and there in the daylight hours. I was wondering if you can help me find a way through this and much appreciate it. Okay, let's just see what the what the pattern says here. Okay. Just want to make a note of something here. Oops. Before I begin, because I'm trying to keep track of the names. The ones that are already here, they're here, but ones that are coming in on the on the chat line. Okay, Karen Lee. Knowing that we're all connected to the one power and the one essence and the great love that is here within this un universe of ours that we call Earth, I can speak my word as we are all joined together for Karen Lee. 
And as I speak my word for Karen Lee, who has requested and asked for sleep. Now, it said here, I get a few hours here and there in the daylight hours. So does it mean that there's none at night? I think I'm taking it that there's none at night. So you can't nap during the day. But what I want to know here was I speak with the knowingness and the awareness of the great power and the great essence that loves you beyond measure is that inside, very inside, there is a vibration that you have. It's fear-like. It's non-trusting. So it's scared. Actually, scared is probably the best word for the feeling that I'm getting from this thin line. You've done so much work in clearing and clearing, but the scaredness that things don't last, that things won't come together, that I'm all alone and what am I supposed to do? Now that tells me personally in there that there's probably past life, other lives and connected in this, but the fear factor. So I'm just asking the beautiful, beautiful loving force to come on in and slowly and easily corrode and eat away the scaredness. Though it took me a little while to get the right word, I believe I have that now. And as, it, we, as that dissolves, what begins to happen is the next level, which is that you have to get out of the habit of not sleeping, frightened and concerned that you're not going to sleep. Because I can see the mental, little mental mind movement going round and round and round and round, just like the little monkey in the cage going round. It's like, oh, I want to sleep so bad, but oh, I can't. Um, and so this is a repeated pattern. Now, I don't know, but I'm getting something like, Somehow to um, break the, the, it's almost like the inner pattern of energy flow. And it's something, I think it's as simple, it could be as, it could be as simple. And there's a lot of people out there that know more about me, about this than me. But I keep seeing you crossing your fingers with your two thumbs and, and crossing them sort of like, I don't know if you can see this. I've got my eyes closed here, but it's like knowing that we're going to break a circuit. You know how electricity runs in a, a circuit. And then if we want to break it, we have to, we break the circuit. We either pull the pattern down the, and the, everything stops or we, we di divert it somewhere else. This is about you breaking the circuit of worry, concern, and anxiety that you're not going to sleep. I could say it may, you may need to make a friend of that, but I believe you've done all that. What I see and sense here is that when that scared little girl of what's going to happen next is let go and you break a circuit. Now you can do it with arms. I don't peep. As I say, I go in the net and find out a little bit more breaking, breaking energy circuits. It seems like I really would know that, but I consciously do not, but I'm showing here patterns of breaking that can work. And there's also bending over and touching your feet and letting the and everything grounding too. That that's that's one thing I do know. But I just know that you're loved. I know that you can let go and not be afraid anymore. Because as the saying goes, you're a big girl now. And it's like letting yourself be in the now and let all those younger parts of you just grow up and integrate with you in the now. That is most important. That's really, really important. And as you take a breath, just allow yourself to imagine from your heart that you're coming out in a beautiful rainbow that brings you about to all the ease and faith that you need. Because that was in the past and this is the future. And so I give thanks. I give thanks from the bottom of my heart, knowing that your, I'm going to call it a pain, is relieved. It's like a block is relieved. The sense of who you've been is relieved. So you can become who you truly are aligned inside. And so I say thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. Amen. Okay, now I'm going to go here for uh, Mr. C, 
and a Mr. C for and what we're what we're playing what I'm uh, what I'm treating for here is a sense of creating and being comfortable in a summer job or an internship or something that's going to give the coffers that is the coffers the monies that is needed for the next step. Sometimes life is a little funny. We think, okay, we're going to solve this problem by this way. But then we find there's another an information that comes in that maybe we can solve the problem in a whole different way. And what is the problem? That is the key. What is the problem? Is it money? Is it time? What is that? It's about trust and knowing that sometimes things show up from a whole different angle that we didn't think possible. And I just, and what I see here is a need to open up. It's not about a summer job, particularly. It's not about an internship. It's about creating a job that gives you the dollars and cents to get you where you want to go because you know you're going there. And I think that as you relax into that and realize it's okay, this is just a couple of months. What I do is I do and make my pennies, as they say, all is well. I give thanks in the knowing of this. I give thanks in knowing that you will be taken care of and, and opportunities will show up that you have to decide yes or no. And it's all good. All of it is good. And for that knowingness, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I just, uh, Karen, Karen uh, okay, I've got another one that's come in from someone that doesn't introduce themselves. And it says, Earth is a, oh, great. This is currently, I think this is the answer. Earth is a great, is a giant gr grave, I guess. To sleep perfectly, adjust your lifestyle, avoid too much stimulants, coffee, or phone to exercise, especially before sleeping. I'm sure she, to be honest, whoever kindly said that, I know this person and I know that she's probably done everything and more. It just seems like cutting, cutting off the the mind and the energy but she wants to figure it out and she says here thank you very much everything you have said hits home 100 percent well that's what i like i like that part for sure okay now i'm going to go to miss a um which i just actually didn't have time someone someone sent me a message i didn't have time to deal with so i'm just putting it in here and that is Okay, I want us to start by connecting to the power of, of all of us and the power of this love that moves easily through all things. And I know that there is love and light in all things. And even when it feels dark, even when it feels like there is no resolution and all the fears, here we go again on fears, all the fears that could be this is going to happen to me and that's going to happen to me and this is going to take place can be released and redeemed, purified and transformed as there is an easy, rewarding solution to the support issue that you're concerned about. The ease with which the universe operates if we, if we allow it, which means we have to mentally get out of the way. We have to allow the inspiration. We have to allow those that know what they're doing to come in and take care of things like this. We have to know how everything works easily. Let go of hardship. Let go of difficulty. Let go of nothing working. Let go of that. This, this, that everything is dependent on this because that makes it too tight. The life does not like this doesn't work, work well with tight. It really doesn't. So the more you relax, the more you trust and know it will work out, even though you don't know how at the moment of time. But by trusting and believing, it will work out. I give thanks and knowing that this solution is there. And it's a matter of being peaceful, quiet inside, and allowing everything to unfold exactly as it needs to. And that becomes very, very, very important. Um, <laughs> the, our Earth lady says, Earth is a giant grave story. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm a random visitor. Just searched a random broadcast. And I think, Karen, 
thing to you. She did. And I thank you because very often I have similar people who come in. I'm always happy. And if I sound a little abrupt, it's because I'm not out of that vibration totally. I'm moving from one to the other. And I just want to thank you for feeling sufficient enough that you wanted to, as I say, chat with me. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Ah, oh, yes. And she, and we're all, we're all getting where we need to go. Okay. Where are we going on a final stretch? But here, no, it's funny because sometimes these initials are the same, but they're different people. And you will notice by what I talk about or what I refer to how different they are. So this is Miss C who wants to feel love. And so I'm just going to treat for that. Knowing there's one power in essence in all things and knowing that I'm connected with all that there is, I speak my word for Miss C to be able to relax enough to feel the love that is there for her and to let go of the resistance and fear of it, that, that it will leave, that it will go away. Now, I'm going to talk a bit on my experience that I found for me is that when I feel that love inside I'm the one that separates from it because I feel it deep inside me now I spent a number of years building up the love force for sure but I get in my head like all of us and then once I get in my head I move away and and, and it's like oh we're, I'm gonna find that love force again now for me it's a breath I breathe in and then I drop my step what I consider myself the I I guess you could call it down into that love force and then I'm able to be connected again but when there is resistance and fear that to feel this is going to leave and go away what happens it just becomes harder and harder to do that it is the knowingness that love is constant it is there if it leaves it's because we drifted away and let some other emotion become between us to, between between it i should say and come in the sense so i know that your connection spiritually your connection to lovingness is there it's relaxing into it and allowing it to grow and allowing it to be consistent and allowing it to know that it's all oh, well. And that knowingness, I truly say thank you, thank you, thank you. And for Miss C to just be her beautiful self. And I know it will be. And so it is. Amen. Whew. Boy, that brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> I always find when tears come into my eyes um, that we find... That, that, that there's emotion involved and that's been happening and going. Uh, now I'm going to do, a, I've got two people by the same name. So I'm going to do, the, I'm going to put them together, put one, I'm going to speak one on one and then we'll speak to the other one. So it's a Miss G. That got, have I talked about Miss G? I connect to the source as I am and I connect Gwen to the source so that it is easy to keep growing and connecting to the source love energy. That the fear of losing it, the fear of it going away, the fear of not being good enough and the fear of guilt, regret and all those things we put aside for the love of this universe is there for all of us if we reach out, grab it, and allow it to become really strong within oneself. I know that the lovingness is there. I know that the great for Miss G, that it will keep on growing and connecting as she allows it. And so, therefore, I give thanks and knowing the continuation and the growth as she gets more power, as she gets more understanding, as she gets more awareness that the gro she grows and grows and grows to where she, it is that she wants to be. And I give thanks for this by saying thank you, thank you, thank you, and so it is. Amen. Now, we have another Miss G. This and... As I say my word for the second Miss G, I know that in this law of love that is felt, understood, and aware of, 
To feel emotionally and financially supported, supported is just a step. It is a step in the knowing of And when we know it, what happens, things begin to shift on the outside. Opportunities come in. Thoughts come in that we would not perhaps have thought. People pop into the life that maybe hadn't have popped in before. So it all begins to make such a difference. I give thanks of knowing that Miss Gwen number two is consistently emotionally and financially supported and that life is like a rainbow life ahead of her is like a rainbow different colors yes but there's joy peace love acceptance surprises just a whole bag of goodies so to speak and that the emotion and financially concerns dissipate because it's all taken care of with the love of the universe coming in and just saying don't need this anymore. Just relax. It's all taken care of. And I give thanks for knowing that with love and light and ease. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I have one more. Miss A. I don't think, think we had a, a. It feels like we did before. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. We had another Miss A. This is number two. Miss A, number two. <sighs> And some of you may relate to this as I say this. I know in the lovingness of all that there is that Miss A will find easy solutions in settling her mother's affairs. That you'll put aside the have-tos, the got-tos, and the where-alls. And that you'll find a sense of so much ease and peace and understanding as she forgives herself as she forgives um, maybe things that she cannot do that her mother asked as she finds forgiveness in every little nook and cranny as she begins to settle the house in particular. There is love. There is love here. And the love can grow by being truthful to self, by being aware of your own beingness, of your own light and the own essence. I truly, truly give thanks in knowing that Miss A2 will find easy solutions in settling her mum's affairs and that she's able to move forward with such enthusiasm, energy, and grace that life is laid out just like a beautiful banquet and she can pick and choose whatever it is she wants to do without guilt, regret, or remorse. And I give thanks in knowing this by saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, and so, so it is. And just to wrap up all the different statements that we've looked at tonight, all the different treatments that are gone and some so similar and some so different, I want us to know that the power of what we call love is there consistently. I want to know that no matter what, as I say thank you, thank you, thank you, I feel the gratitude of being and as we know that as long as we come into an alignment and know and trust this loving force in all that we do, we will succeed because we're at peace. And when we're at peace, everything falls into place. It's when we get nervous. It's when we get uptight. It's when we worry, 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 and we can't see anything. We, no messages can come through. High self can't talk to you. Earth self can't talk to you. Uh, your shadow self can't talk. Nobody can talk to you because your mind's too busy. When we get fearful, we pull away. And instead of going to light, but, you know, you can say it's like a moth goes to the light. Well, it's like you need to go to the light for support, for clarity, for anything that you truly want. And I know in my heart that each one of us, as we reach out, are supported and given all the love that we need. The thing is to ask for it and feel it and know it and know it's yours. It's not for Jane down the street or Joey up the road. It's for you. Each one of us can claim it because there's lots to go around. Lots and lots and lots. 
So you breathe it in. So just take a moment, however you perceive love, if it's a color, great. If it's just a sense of it, just breathe it in and let it fill yourself up. Fill yourself up. Because you're at one with the love. It's in you anytime you want it. I always say it's only ever a breath away. Just get out of the mind. Go deep into that core of your being and feel the lovingness that is there so that you can work with it, you can be with it, and you know that it is part of who you are. So thank you very, very much for listening to me tonight and being a part of my Monday night mental mind treatments. And uh, oh, I'll be back on Wednesday with Norma Talks. And I usually they're usually able to put that up by 11, 11 o'clock. And then again on Sunday for a Sunday thought. I thank you. I, trustingly, you will subscribe if you haven't, because we'd love to see you again and or for you to know that I'm on. And also, what else? Newsletter. If you want to be on the newsletter, email, go to the website, connect with me and put it down. July should be coming out mid early next week, hopefully. <laughs> I say that, then I forget, and then I, I'm late. So Whenever it comes out, it'll come out with the next schedule. Maybe who knows if it's a workshop, if it's mini readings, if it's some other thing that I want to share or give away. Anyway, this is me, Reverend Norma, as Norma Cowie, saying good night. Thank you. Love and light. Have a good night. Bye now.